So now that Fujifilm X-H2S and the X-H2 and the X-T5 are now released to the public, everyone and their grandmothers are going out to buy the new cameras, take a picture of those Fujifilm black boxes, and then share it onto the Fujifilm uh, Facebook group for everyone to see. That begs the question, now what? Does this make you a better photographer? It probably makes your life a little bit easier by buying the latest camera tech, but realistically, your old Fujifilm camera is still great. Still great. So while everyone's rushing out to sell their old Fuji cameras in order to get the X-T5s, the X-H2s, and the X-H2s, that means that there are some of these older cameras that are going to be very well priced and you guys can pick up on some of these deals. And I think it's because of YouTube and, and because of the hype, like, you know, that you see from watching gear launch launches, product launches, camera launches. You sort of get into this hype. You are impressed by the shiny new specs, the new feature sets. But if we're just talking strictly photography, you can honestly take great pictures with your old Fujifilm cameras. I've been sharing my old photos on this channel here and on the Facebook uh, Fuji groups as well. I've taken countless shots with the X-T2, the X-T3, the X-T4, and the X-S10 and the Fujifilm X-H1. I've been getting comments on YouTube and on Facebook saying something along the lines of, it's a nice reminder that you don't need the latest and greatest cameras to take good photos. That's one of the th main things that people say when they leave like comments <laughs> Um, on one of my photos that I've taken with like these old these old cameras. Listen, if you guys have gas and you want to feed into it, by all means, go for it. I know that feeling as well. I am guilty of that and it's something that I need to work on. But I find that having this YouTube channel is just a good excuse for, for this gas. <laughs> I can uh, purchase the camera, play, or play around with it for a certain amount of months, review it for you guys, and uh, everybody wins. And nowadays, I think the sensor technology has peaked uh, there's not much improvement from the 24 megapixels in the X-T2 to the 26 megapixel in the X-T3 and the X-T4. And now we got a new stack sensor, the 26 megapixel stack sensor in the X-H2S. The 40 megapixels in the X-T5 and the X-H2. Future Fujifilm camera bodies coming out. Honestly, nothing's changed much from the X-T2 to the X-T5. Just a, just a bit more color improvement, just a bit better dynamic range improvement. But for the most part, the image just looks and feels the same in my opinion. And I just wanna talk about my Fujifilm X-S10 as it's going to become the old head of this Fuji family I got going on right now. But I just wanna say like the specs on this uh, camera is still amazing. The sensor coming from this tiny looking thing is from the X-T3 and the X-T4, meaning it takes beautiful images. It still has IBIS and it has a nice hand grip for you to hold and it produces the same Fuji colors you all are accustomed to and love. And because people are now hopping on to the X-T5, be prepared for when the prices of the X-S10, the X-T3 and the X-T4 uh, goes down in price. So you're gonna, you're gonna be able to find some amazing deals. I just wanna make this video to remind you guys that your old cameras are still great. So I'm going to show you guys shots I've taken over the years with my old Fujifilm cameras. So that way you don't feel hard on yourself. You, you don't feel like you must have this camera in order to become a good photographer. Cause hey man, people have been shooting on like a two megapixel camera back in the day. And before digital cameras, they've been shooting on film and you know, they don't have autofocusing back in film days. So they didn't have the latest uh, stack sensor inside or anything like that, all right? So you can make good images with what you have. Enough talking, here are some image cue montage.
I just want you guys to feel proud of the images you make so you don't feel like crap because it's not the camera that you want. Because your old Fujifilm camera is still great. Trust me, it's still great. So yeah, if you find this video valuable, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I make Fujifilm and photography related content. And if you guys want more information on these cameras, the links are down below. And as always, my name is Tung and I'm wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hey, and hey, don't hog all the eggnog now. Save some for me. <laughs> I love you guys. Ooh. This is just a friendly reminder. You don't always need the latest and greatest. You are great with what you have. If you do have gas and you are one of those few rich people out there, then by all means, do whatever you want. But for the rest of the people out there, like if you have an X-T2, an X-T3, an X-T4, an X-Pro1, Pro2, Pro3, X-E1, X-E2, X-E3, X-T3, XT10, XT20, XT30, XT30 Mark II, XS10, XT4, X100, X100, an X100 one? What's what's one? Oh, an X100S, X100T, X100F, X100S. All these Fujifilm cameras, man. Like I'm telling you right now, if you're solid. You're you're f solid. <laughs> Bye guys.